Okay, so <clears throat> had an issue with this uh, engine overheating. <clears throat> was getting a, a solid beep versus three beeps. I believe the three beep is uh, low oil, um, which the oil injection has been completely uh, disabled on on this model, this uh, V6. Um, and then the solid beep, which means that it's overheating. So you have two sensors here, one here, one here. I believe this goes to the, the gauge up front, and this is for the actual alarm or vice versa. <clears throat> so uh, there's a multitude of reasons that can cause overheating. Uh, number one, a bad impeller. Now, I just changed that, so that shouldn't be it. <clears throat> um, it was pumping a lot, a lot of water uh, when I had it on. Um, it was hot, so it could either be uh, the poppet valve, maybe a clog within the system, or the thermostats, which I went ahead and took the thermostats out. It's just a size uh, 13 metric uh, bolt. And I got three of them out. One's kind of stuck behind the tube right there and uh, quickly identified what I believe to be the issue with this engine. It was, uh, it was the thermostats. I'll show you a picture right here. Okay, so those thermostats uh, look pretty rough, as you can tell by the photos. Uh, I tried to squeeze them, try to open them up. I don't know how water even got through there, but somehow it did. Um, so I went ahead and ordered some new thermostats, and they're here, and I'm about to show you how to actually test the thermostats uh, to make sure they're working before actually installing them, and then we're going to make it talk. Yeah, okay, so for this test, uh, let's see here. As you can see, I got the new thermostats, T-stats in, which I will put a link for these. I got them off Amazon. I'll show you a picture right here. And uh, for this test, all you're going to need is a, a temperature sensor. This is just a, you know, infrared measures the temperature of the water. It's already 105, 106. So these should ideally uh, open up. What you want to do is push down. Let's see if I can do this one handed. Push down. See how that's kind of coming up right there and puts the string through there and then once this gets up to around 135 145 somewhere in that range uh they should fall off this string so i'm gonna go ahead and put this this string through both thermostats and then when this hits that temperature range these should fall if they work properly which they should because they're brand new but i have been fooled before okay so as you can see i got both thermostats and the string going through the top uh, then going down here to the to the bottom and I'm going to test both at the same time Meanwhile waiting for this to get close to temperature we're at 126 All right, I might need an extra hand for this. Give me one second Okay, so now Got this on here Okay so, so water temperature is showing 127. I don't know if you can see that or not Try to get close to the light here Right, we're at 135. I probably should put more water on this. 137, 140, 41. Let's see here. Play around. 142, 43, 44. 145 they have not dropped yet hold on my gauge is kind of bouncing all over the place here 146 okay so one dropped now the second one dropped around 147 okay let's take this off we don't want to ruin our new stats just yet So around 145 to 147, both of the T-stats dropped, which means that they are operational. So I'm going to go ahead and install them. It's pretty much a plug and play. And like I said, we're going to make it talk and uh, see what happens from there. All right, so now we're back to the engine. Again, it's a size 13 metric to put these in. And uh, it's, this is very simple. Um, I'm going to try to get some of this, some of this off. You, you don't want to get that into your water table. It could clog your system up completely, which would, again, cause overheating. Okay, so we have that one in. 
We got this one in. Okay. Okay. So now I just need to put this these on. There's two bolts on each side, and we're gonna make a talk. So I'm gonna go and do that. Okay, so now I got uh, the T-stats installed. Now when you tighten these down, you definitely want to, you want them tight, but you don't want to, you don't want to be careful not to strip, strip the cylinder head here, because then you're, you know, run into a bunch of other problems. Uh, not, not unfixable, but definitely problems. Uh, but they are, they are definitely, definitely tight. Uh, I'm sure there's some sort of torque metric, whatever, Newton, whatever measurement for it. I don't know what it is. All right, so now I'm just going to, Feed some gas and make a talk and uh, that alarm up there better not go off because that would be embarrassing. Okay, so we got the water water running. Went ahead and primed the bulb. Let's see here. Just go ahead and give it a start. Got the lever up. Let's see here. Not the success story that I wanted. Uh, you always want it to be easy, you know what I mean? So now I'm gonna have to dig deeper into this engine to find out uh, what's going on with it. Um, Cause yeah, the block is definitely hot to the touch. It shouldn't be hot to the touch. So, I don't know. <laughs> I guess that'll be on my next video. So, but hey, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments about how to test the thermostat, it's a very easy procedure, plug and play. So now we've ruled out that it's the thermostats. Um, we know for a fact the other thermostats were bad. So now we just have to, um, I have to figure out why uh, this, it's just not, it's definitely hot to the touch. It shouldn't be hot to the touch and the water definitely should not be uh, uh, steaming when it comes out of the end. So but yeah, just, uh, I don't know, leave a comment or if you're a troll, leave a negative comment, I don't care. Um, but I'll see you guys next time, all right?